Hey, what's up, YouTube? Well, as you can read from the title, I'm finally back from my trip, and this is my Memphis uh, mega haul. I went to a lot of Walgreens. It seems like in Memphis there's like a Walgreens on every five blocks. I mean, they're just everywhere down there. I went to Hot Topic in Memphis at their uh, gallery mall. I don't remember the name name of it. Something gallery. Uh, let's see. I went to a Barnes and Noble, but didn't buy anything. Um, on the way down to Memphis, I stopped in a GameStop in some small town in Alabama, and picked up a couple pops there. And on the way back, I picked up a couple pops, uh, my local GameStop, because I needed to exchange one that I didn't realize had either got damaged or was damaged when I bought it, one of the two. And I went ahead and ran to my Hot Topic because I was trying to get the Stitch Valentine's Day pop, which they actually got in and started selling this morning. So I got lucky on that where I don't have to make a second trip this weekend. So without further ado... We'll knock out some of these Walgreens ones first, and we'll just kind of go as I bought them, with the exception of that GameStop one. The GameStop technically was the first one, but there's a little bit of explanation behind that. So, one of the Walgreens was, and all these are, I, I think all these are Walgreens exclusives. I could be wrong, I don't remember now, but all of them were pops that I was looking for, or that I wanted. Um, the Lizard... And some of these I actually passed up in other stores. This one actually was the only only one, period. Um, I went to, I think, maybe nine different Walgreens over the course of a week. i seen more than that, but the first two days I wasn't actually shopping because I didn't know how my money was going to fall. Um, the way that it works with my company is you pay for all your food, and then they reimburse you on the back end. You put it in an app, and you wait to get paid back. So, I wanted to make sure that I had enough money to last me as far as food and everything before I got to worrying about buying pops. Uh, this one, I got a different one. Uh, Spider Girl. But I did try to search them out to find the, the ones with the best boxes. This one has like a small crease on the top. Not too worried about it. I didn't have any rips. And these three all came from the same exact uh, Walgreens. I actually seen this Punisher in a another Walgreens that didn't have anything else for me but this. Um, but before that, this was the only one that I had seen. And I haven't seen any of them locally. <laughs> Funny story about this one. Uh, if you watch any of my previous videos, you notice I already bought this pop. And I talked about how it had there was a cut across the top on another pop that was next to it. Well, after the video concluded, I got to looking at the box whenever I was getting ready to take pictures, and it had a cut all the way across. So I gave it to my wife. She said she's going to take it out of the box and put it in her car or something like that. I don't know how she's going to mount it, but I hey, that's on her. <laughs> She likes pops. And I think she's getting into them more and more as I start collecting more and more. They had a bunch of these, but only at one Walgreens. I I know this is probably about the... Out of all the Walgreens exclusives, it's probably one of the more expensive pops. And I've really considered buying quite a few of them just for trade bait. But I was like, you know what? If you don't, if you don't collect Spider-Man pops... Then you may not even be into Spider Ham. But I thought it was great that I got a hold of that one. So those were all the ones that I got from actual Walgreens. Now, the ones that I got from GameStop in Alabama. Son Goku. I actually haven't seen him at any of my local GameStops here in Chattanooga. This one has a small crease on the on the corner of the box, but it's not super bad. 
And honestly, it might not even have had that whenever I first bought it. These things have been getting banged around in my work truck for the whole last week. That's kind of, I think, what happened. I had a uh, kid flash. And I, look, I, I went to get out of my van today and I just happened to move the bags over. And the top of the box was ripped. Like a good sixteenth of an inch, maybe a little bit more. I'm like, yeah, maybe we'll exchange him. The worst part was what I exchanged him for. Not even close to the same, like, yeah. <laughs> it's not even close to the same style of pop or anything. But this is one of them I picked up in Alabama. The wife's super excited about this. We're really into these rock pops, but everybody loves Mariah Carey. But, so I got that one for her. And the last one that I got there, just super common pop. The Christmas Spider-Man with the ugly sweater. Yeah, that glare. Boy, that glare is brutal. I haven't found a way to light myself from from the rear. I don't really have any great natural lighting in my uh, man cave. So, there's a lot of glare that comes off of my uh, the screen on my camera. Uh, the Hot Topic in Memphis... They had a couple pops. If I would have, if they would have been running a special where it was like two for buy two get one free, I probably would have bought quite a few pops. Um, they had a couple Motley Crue pops. Um, they had an ACDC pop. Uh, they didn't have any Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. Some of the other pops were super common, but they had just got and put this on the shelf the same day, and. I don't know what day I was there. I want to say Wednesday. Maybe Tuesday. Whatever the 22nd was. January 22nd. They had just put her on the shelves. But needless to say. I went to My Hot Topic today to get the Valentine's Day. Um, oh, what the hell was it? The other Valentine's Day pop. Oh, Stitch. Stitch Valentine's. They had plenty of them. Like they were, they had a whole section of the Harley Quinns, so I would have got it regardless. I wish I could get the original Harley Quinn uh, in the hearts, but I like the diamond collection. I like all diamond collection stuff. That extra little glitter kind of makes it just cool. I don't know. So, like I said, went to GameStop today to exchange one pop and ended up coming out with five pops. This shit is addictive. It's like you try to spend the least amount and you end up spending the most. Well, Kid Flash is what I took in because I had a rip box. Told him some story that you know, I just needed to exchange it. I already had the pop, whatever. And this is what I bought in return. It's not Kid Flash. But there's only a couple figures in the collection. It, easy one to probably complete. I've actually, this is the first time I've ran across Kevin, but I've ran across uh, Harry and Marv a dozen times probably now. Uh, I think mostly in Barnes & Noble. I could be wrong. So that should be a pretty simple one to complete. And the rest of them that I got in that GameStop, I got the new Goku. Not even gonna try to name or pronounce some of these names. King Kai and Bubbles. Honestly, I'm not even a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. I've never really been into the cartoon. I just think the pops are just like amazing with the detail. And some of the stuff that they come up with, like this uh, Son Goku. He's floating on in like a yellow cloud. 
you know, and he's almost sitting Indian style, like, you know what I mean? Like, they're just really awesome pops. They put in a lot of detail. They're usually pretty heavy pops, or they come with, like, extra little characters on the side. I mean, it's, this was, I think, going to be an easy set to collect, because it's only a handful of them. I think, really, the only one I'm missing is uh, Android 17 and 18. Just because I didn't even try to get those, but I've already passed them up probably a dozen times. Because they're super common. Not even going to attempt to butcher her name. I think it's Fidel. Fiddle. I don't know. Alright. And the last one. I say this one's pretty awesome. He has a little scar on his cheek. He's in battle mode. I don't know. It kind of makes me want to go back and start collecting some of the other ones. But I know some of these Dragon Ball Z pops are like super expensive. Like not if you can find them in for retail inside the store. But it's like some of them they snatch them up immediately, and then you can't find them again. I almost didn't get these. I almost got the Pink Ranger, Yellow Ranger, and Black Ranger from the Power Rangers movie. Um, they had the helmets on. I really wanted them, but I thought back and I was like, eh, I could probably get those anytime. I've seen them on quite a few sites where they want retail for them. Uh, they weren't GameStop exclusives or anything like that, so it should have been something that I can easily easily obtain later on. Alright, so now into today's Hot Topic uh, haul. This is what I went for. They actually had them behind the counter still, because they just put them out today. Valentine's Day Stitch with the Be Mine uh, little pillow. Hot Topic exclusive. She actually uh, handpicked the box for me to try to get me one that didn't have any creasing on it. I still ended up with a crease right there. God damn it. Oh, shit. Yeah. That could have been self-inflicted. I don't know. Uh, I got this one just so I could get an extra $15 uh, in hot cash. I was like $4 short. So I went and found me a, a cheap pop. So I got Robin with a baby. Seven bucks. I probably won't go after the rest of these. I don't know. That Robin with the red X is pretty cool. I'll show you that. Let's see if I can get in on it. That's a pretty neat little figure right there. And there's only four of them. So that Starfire would be actually kind of cool too. I've seen that Mammoth in other people's videos. I haven't seen it in person. It looks like a huge pop. Like, I don't know if it's an oversized pop or if it comes in like a regular box, but it looks huge. But I haven't seen it in stores, so I don't know if it's one of the, the harder ones to get or if I just haven't really been looking for it. Like I said, it's not something I really collect. This one I passed up last time we were in Hot Topic. Evil Queen. It's one of the diamond collection, so she's all glittery. It's part of the Disney series. There's quite a few on this one. I honestly, I won't collect them all. Um, I really don't care about collecting half of these. I wouldn't mind having that Tigger. I don't know. Here goes the rest of them. If you guys want to see that. They got a... Uh, it's a Winnie the Pooh, and I think it's from the Christopher Robbins movie, if I'm correct. Um, and he's... They got a diamond variant. And I want to say that they actually might even have a flocked version. But then again, that could have just been a regular Winnie the Pooh. But I wouldn't mind getting both of those. I like Winnie the Pooh. I like Tigger. I like that little series. Angus. I want the I want the variant. I want the one where he actually has the horns coming through his hat. Um, maybe I'll get lucky and find it. 
Oh man, this one split just a little bit right there on the corner. Damn it. I gotta start looking better at these damn boxes. I don't think that one's cut. I think that one's just the way that it's folded. It, the box just kind of split open a little bit. What can you do? And the last one. Milan. Another diamond collection. It's a really cool pop. I think it'd have been awesome if they made her hair like a metallic black or something. I don't know. <laughs> Even her earrings are uh, glittery. Very cool pop. I say part of a. It's actually part of a different uh, Disney series. I don't know if the rest of these come with the diamond variant, but I would, I would really like to collect all of those. I've ran into the Aurora at Books a Million and her dress does have glitter in it. I don't remember if it was considered a diamond collection, but they had two different versions. They had the plain, they only had one of the plain, and they had three of the glitters. But there was only four figures there. And I haven't ran into that Jasmine. But I'm a huge Aladdin fan, so hopefully uh I can run across that one. Well, uh that's it for the haul. Like I said, there's quite a few pops. I mean we got Nineteen pops, you know what I mean? Almost twenty pops over the course of a week, and a good portion of it came today. Uh, with the exception of, like I said, all those Walgreens exclusives. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, like I say every time, if you guys can just give me a like. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you hit the bell, you can get notifications every time I post a video. Um, if you guys got any suggestions, leave a comment in the bottom. You know, if you like to see me do different kind of videos, if you have suggestions on how I do my videos, do you like to see me do something different? Um, I don't know. Comment. I'll, I'll comment back. Thanks for watching.